Teen depression and anxiety increased during COVID, and now mental health experts say young people with eating disorders continue to struggle. In our Health Watch report, Local 3's Connie Fellman tells us the signs parents need to look out for. Eating disorders increased in teens and young adults during the pandemic. By some studies, the rates of anorexia, bulimia, and binge eating were up by 15%. And despite life returning somewhat to normal, researchers say binge eating is still a problem for teens. An extreme obsession with weight and body image, eating disorders, especially binge eating, increased among young people during COVID lockdowns. And it's not getting better. It's been stressful for kids to go back to school. Um, they're in a different setting. They've missed a year, sometimes two years, of being in person with their peers, and that's stressful. During a binge, teens consume large amounts of food in a short period of time, as many as one to 2,000 calories in one or two hours. The binge is usually followed by feelings of extreme shame or guilt. Lattaker says parents can watch for signs of secretive eating. It can be finding wrappers and evidence that the kid has maybe gone to a convenience store and picked up a bunch of snacks on their own. Going to a fast food restaurant, but then eating in the parking lot. Or going to the convenience store, but eating on the way home. Teens may have a sudden change in foods they like to eat or avoid family meals altogether. Lidecker says parents should be supportive and look for professional help. We want to catch eating disorders as young as possible and as quickly after they emerge as possible. Lidecker says cognitive behavior therapy is effective in helping teens regain healthy eating habits. People who need additional support or information can text or call the National Eating Disorder Hotline 1-800-931-2237 or visit nationaleatingdisorders.org and teenpoweratyale.edu for more information. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.